And now we move on to an intellectual presentation titled Stepping Out Strong to Stand Out Smart by Miracle Adego. Miracle Adego is a seasoned, proactive, excellent, young and vibrant engineer. He graduated with first class honor in metallurgical and materials engineering from the Federal University of Technology, Akure. As an undergraduate, he made the Dean's List all through the semesters of his studies. Miracle is a recipient of several awards, including AUST Research Excellence Award, Hong Kong PhD Fellowship Award, Award of the Overall Best Student in MME Footer, and School of Engineering and Engineering Technology Footer. Miracle has made several contributions to knowledge by publishing in both international and national renowned journals. He is a researcher who is currently working towards his PhD in Mechanical Engineering at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Join me as we welcome Miracle Adego. Genius course, you guys be taught about uh, time management. Time management is very, very important. Time management is very, very important because uh, sometimes we 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 didn't know that we are wasting time if you didn't manage your time very well. You have 24 hours in a day, and out of this 24 hours, you should be able to sleep at least six hours in a day. And then the remaining 18 hours, what do you use it for? Plan your time, maybe the time you need to be in the lecture room the time you need to be in the library, if you like to read the library, the time you need to be in the church, the time you need to be at home, the time you need to be at your place of study. I get it. So just plan your time very well. Know the time that you need to play even with friends. Don't spend too much time just gossiping, just talking, you know, things that are not really relevant with friends. So you can just use, this time, use that time to kind of study. And the next thing is a good study plan. I think by now you should know because you passed with secondary school and now you're in the university, you should know when best you can assimilate when you study. So if you have figured that out, then you need to stick to it. So you need to actually like make good use of that time. If you know, for some people they like to read at night, for some people, people they like to read, for some people maybe when there's kind of a bit of noise. So just know yourself and then stick to what you are good at. You know, you are, that time that you know, if I read at this time, I'm going to understand, just stick to it. I ensure you read at that time, you study at that time, because if you do that, it will reduce the time you spend in studying. It's going to be easy for you to assimilate something. You know, you can assimilate easily. Then the next thing is uh, avoid social media while studying. We are all youths, uh, you know, not the millennials. Uh, but the thing is, uh, what I noticed is that some of us will spend too much time uh, on social media. And another distraction is that uh, while you are studying, you have your phone with you. You are replying your friend's uh, WhatsApp chat. You are, you know, you take a break to go and check uh, what's going on on IG. You are following a live uh, space on Twitter. You know, all those things you just suck away your time. I get it. And then it's it's and when you are studying and you are checking something on social media, it 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 creates a kind of a, a distraction or a disconnection because a part of the brain will also process what you just. What you just go on Twitch without to see. I guess so. 
when you are studying, just stay away from social media. Just avoid it. When you are doing your study, when you want to probably you want to rest, you can just if you have the time, you can go through. But it's not necessary you go through everything as on social media. In fact, you can't even go through everything there. So you just need to know how to manage your time. And when you are studying, avoid avoid checking anything on social media. The next thing, when you're in class, try to take notes. Take you know, take uh, try to jot something down when the lecturer is teaching. Some of these lecturers, they most of them, not all of them do. Most of them can give you hints on where the exam or the CA is coming out. So you just take note of that. Take note of that. Take note of that. Take note of that. So, so like you just take note of that so that when you are studying, you can know that, oh, I need to go through this because the lecturer will probably ask or the professor will probably ask. So please take note of that. And also when you are reading textbook, uh, I will advise you to take notes because I'll be, I'll be just aware you can summarize what you have got to know, what you understand from reading that textbook. Because when it's time for exam, you may not have the luxury of time to go back to that textbook to study or to revise. Or you, can, you have your small notes, you know, your small just aware if you have taking down some things, you can easily go through and then that will save you some time. Also, when preparing for CA, target at least 90% of the mark, you know. If your CA is uh, kind of 7, 30, I will advise you to target nothing less than 25. This is because, this is because uh, it will reduce the stress in preparing for the exam, I guess I mean. So if you can have like a minimum of like 25 at least in your test, then you'll be targeting like maybe around 55, you know, actually like uh, that should be targeting about 45. So, and then you have your, hey, but don't target 45 in your exam as well. Target something that's not like 60 because sometimes you know, there's a saying that if you aim for the stars, you may not get there, but you're going to get among the move. So due to some, some kind of maybe factors, but target, uh, I, um, target something that is kind of high. So that when you are working towards it, even if you don't get, exactly what you are targeting, you get something close to it, and then it's going to be easy for you to have your A. And then prepare way for exam. Please and please, I will advise that uh, at least you should have gone over all your notes, all your class notes. You should have at least studied them and then you can use that, that one week break to kind of do revision. I expect you to be doing revision during the one week break, not to just study because when you are studying a lot in that one week, it's going to give a lot of pressure, you know, to your brain, and then it's going to probably reduce your assimilation. So you start preparing for exam even during the first week of resumption. You know, everything the lecturer is teaching, you are going over it, you are going over it. If you keep following the lecturer, you won't have stress in preparing for the exam. And then, you know, do your exam and your CA, and then you come out with good grades. And then you need to be disciplined. Please, uh, uh, if there is one of the things that you have to know is that uh, you need to be disciplined. You need to be disciplined. It's actually difficult for people to be disciplined. You know, uh, when I was in UG, this is how I used to well, wake up in the 7 night to read because I like to study at night. So whenever I wake up, the first thing I tell myself is uh, a little sleep, a little slumber, so shall my poverty increase. So like when I recite that like two, three times, you know, already my brain will be like, oh, miracle stand up. <laughs> if you don't read, you will likely fail. So it makes it easy for me to stand up. So I'm just what I'm trying to say is that uh, find a way to discipline yourself. When you need to study, just go there and study. When you need to be in the church, be in the church. So and when you need to go to the library to, to do your assignment, go there. If there's a need for you to go and meet a friend, don't be too, you no, know, don't feel too big to meet someone to teach you. No. Meet that friend, and if you feel like, oh, you are good at uh, group study, have a group. I mean, serious group, not the group whereby you are meeting to study out of like maybe two hours that you guys project, then you use about one hour to gist on a street. No, 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 that's that, that, that's not kind of productive. Meet our friends that they are productive, and you guys can work together. Next, I'm going to teach you probably some approach to some courses. You know, all your courses won't be easy, while everything also won't be difficult. So for easy courses, you know, just spend less time, but master the key points and also don't underestimate them. Uh, you know, when I was in UG, uh, I realized that uh, because, you know, I'm kind of too confident when it comes to MTS, so I won't prepare too well for it. So I realized during the exams, not all the exams though, but during some of the exams, I realized I struggle with, you know, as times because I don't, so I was like, like, I have not missed this time. So what I'm trying to say is don't underestimate even those easy courses. Or because those courses that you feel like, oh, 
you know, it's just something that is easy that I can still pass. No, don't underestimate them. Still practice them. Prepare for them. Then for difficult courses, you spend more time. There's a need for you to create more time for difficult courses. Create time for it. You know, study it. Your weekend, study it. If it needs you to like just separate the weekend to master it or to invite a friend to teach you or to meet a friend somewhere to teach you, just create time for it to master it. And then know also the important things and also practice past questions. Uh, for difficult courses, you, you, you know the, the pattern. You know the pattern the lecturer do say this, that when you practice past questions, because sometimes most of our lecturers, they have a particular pattern. They have a particular way of setting their question. So if you practice past questions, you get familiar with how the lecturer uh, set their question. Even for easy courses, you can also try to practice past questions, you know, if you have the time. By the time you practice like two, three years question, then you get used to it. And also overall, Understand each topic before the next class. Please try to go over each topic before the next class to reduce your stress by preparing for uh, CA and uh, exams. And also set study targets and then revise class weekly. Revise class weekly. All right. Uh, please try to note your question. You know, as, I'm, as I'm talking, you can just note down your questions so that you can ask me after the after my talk, thank you. Now, there's God's principle for hard work. He said, uh, say that a man diligent in his business. You know, other speakers have mentioned this, but I need to also reiterate. Say that a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings. He shall, he shall not stand before me, men. When you are diligent in your business, when you study, see, please, if anybody is telling you, squeeze calm. Uh, please, squeeze not scam. I'm begging you, squeeze not scam. See, you may look at uh, uh, some, of, some people also have this idea of saying, uh, even the richest people in the world, they didn't go to school, they are dropped out. No, it's not so. You need to know their background before you can say someone is like a dropout. They're not dropout. Even they have people from the top schools that are working for them. You don't have the money to pay someone from Harvard, from MIT to, to, to work for you. It is not that you can also make yourself that kind of person that. Even you, you are so resourceful enough that you can do things on your, on your own or such that even companies can be looking for you. Please squeeze not scam. I need to mention this. So please take your studies diligently. Then on some relevant skills that you need to acquire, you know, we are all students, and then uh, I think uh, when the age you are by, uh, uh, your studies alone is, I mean, your first degree is not enough to get a good job. That's if you want to get a job or to have a startup. So there are some skills that I will recommend or suggest that you should acquire. Because there is uh, Robert Griss said, uh, the future belong to those who learn more skills and combine them in a creative way. You learn the skills and you combine them in a creative way. Uh, as I'm very sure you are all, uh, some of us, if not all of us are science students, and then there are, there are some of the skills that you can acquire, you know, programming. I would recommend that as a science student, during your break, you know, your holiday, and then maybe in the first, like, uh, the first five to six weeks of uh, resumption, the first five weeks of redemption, you can use this time to practice coding, you know, that's programming. You can also uh, take uh, courses on, uh, you can also take courses on data science, and then uh, cloud computing, uh, machine learning, that's the future blockchain technology. Please, uh, I also like to tell you that uh, blockchain is uh, blockchain technology is kind of different from cryptocurrency. So please, I'm talking about focusing on blockchain technology because it's being applied in healthcare, in farming and in economics and also cybersecurity and also virtual reality. For virtual reality, you can know that uh, what is going to the future of like uh, virtual reality now with the web 3.0. So you can also learn skills in this area. All those affiliate marketing skills and then uh, project management and also user interface or so user experience time and also content creation. So I have highlighted some sites that you can get these skills or you can request uh, for it from your uh, academic who's going to give to you. So these are some of the sites that you can visit to get uh, some of these skills. Some of them are actually free of charge. You know, you don't need to pay. 
This is what God is saying to us. He said, cast your bread upon the waters, you know, acquire skills, cast your bread upon the waters. For after many days, you push it to the same. So lastly, uh, I would like to let me go in the Bible for he said, for I know the thoughts is the Lord, uh, the thoughts of peace are not of evil, you unexpected hand. That means like, where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? If you if you can kind of have that vision, God can give you that kind of thing. God can give it to you. No, you know, claim God's promises, you need to meditate on God's word and then uh, meditate on God's promises. Uh, you pray regularly. You no, know, you pray regularly. Pray regularly. You pray without season. You pray until you get what you want from God. And then you trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and need not your understanding. We are children of God. You know, the, we have an advantage because if we follow the principles of God, then we can also claim the promises. You claim the promises on what, on the principles you have followed. God's promises says that the Lord shall point to these good treasures, be able to give you rain in this season, you know, to, and to bless all the works of the hand. You have to work. You have to make your hand to work. And God will bless it. That you after whatsoever ye ask in God's name, that He is going to do it. God is going to do it, and said that the Father may be glorified in the Son. That's that God is also interested in your progress. God is interested in your progress. So be disciplined. Work hard, so like an essay. And while you're working hard, also is don't give excuse that you don't have time. You have time. Don't your holiday. What are you doing during your holiday? You have time. You say you're helping your parents. Fine. What of during the evenings? You no, know? you can't use 24 hours to help your parents. You can't use 24 hours to go and maybe learn other skills. So try to create the time for it. Now, let me ask you again as a roundup. Where do you aspire to be in the next 10 years? Don't think 10 years is far, like I said. 10 years is just, just tomorrow. Let me just say, just tomorrow. The next you know, few days, we're going to be, oh, we're in 2032. So where do you want to say in 2032? I pray God will help you, and as you walk, God will give you the grace to walk as well. And then God will, as you claim the promises, God will answer you in Jesus' name. Thank you. And then, so I would like to attend to some questions now. Any questions regards what you have said? Stepping out strong to stand out smart. If you have questions, please, just please, just. Praise the Lord. Okay, maintain us, please. Can you please help us with the question we have, please? There is still the chance if you have questions to ask from him, kindly raise your hand. If you have questions, please raise up your hand. And please, if you if you have written down, kindly give to the ushers and let them pass to the maintenance or to the uh, GPT coordinator. Okay, I think we have ends. We have two ends. Please just come to the front row here, please. As fast as you can, please come to the front row here.
please, if you have questions, don't be shy. Just come to the front right. prayer, please. We're going to attend to you. All right. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I, I noticed that uh, maybe before I resume resume school, I have plans that uh, this semester will be 5.0, like minimum score will be 95A. I'm saying the truth. So I just noticed that when I get to school, okay, I noticed that when I get to school, maybe uh, first few weeks, I just see that I don't even have the plans again. Then I will have to sit for another maybe 75A. So you said that, uh, you also said that, that uh, while you maybe in your in your exam period, you remind yourself a little sleep, a little slumber, so shall thy poverty come. So what motivates you maybe in the previous, maybe uh, in the starting of a uh, semester that this first week I want to read and I want to continue. So that's the question, sir. Thank you. It's asking for, is that actually asking for uh, the motivation uh, that our guest speaker has whenever he's kind of down and stuff like that. Brother Adegumiriku, can you please help us out with the answer? All right. Uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, like you said, uh, like, like you said, said uh, like you... okay. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, like you said, you said uh, before the beginning of the semester, you used to have this kind of, you know, high targets, but along the line, you realize that you are coming to like uh, 75. Uh, actually, to me, I, I wouldn't see anything bad in that. However, this is what I will just tell you. Uh, like I said, I said you need to be disciplined. That's very, very important. That's very, very important. And uh, for you to have high grades, uh, start early. Okay, for me, it's kind of, convenient for me because I started since when I was in high school. Since when I was in high school, I don't join my friends. I mean, I don't join my family to see movies. I would just go to my room and I study. So this is like an habit. It has become an habit, you know? So for you, if you know, that's not your habit, you know, you just need to like start and then you are consistent, you know, and you're also disciplined. I get you. So if you set the target of like 90 and you realize that, uh, maybe due to some kind of uh, distraction or some other thing, you realize that you still be getting at least the A, at least the A. But if you still want that 90, then, then you need to look for your, look on consider how you performing in your CA. So that in your CA, like I said, target 90% and also in your exam, target 100% if possible. You know, you may not be able to have like 100% due to some kind of uh, maybe, you know, little mistakes. But if you target 100% in your your, in your exam, you realize that you're getting something close to like 90 or above 90. So keep making the targets high. Keep setting that high target and keep working towards it. If at first you didn't get it, try it again the second time, try to get the third time, then you will realize that after a while it becomes an habit and then it's going to be like easy for you to achieve. Are you getting me? So I will just, so I will just encourage you, don't give up. Keep setting that high target and you definitely get it sooner. Jam your hands together. Don't give up. Don't give up. Ensure you have that focus and that target. Now we are going to listen to the last question and also get the reply from our guest speaker online. The last one. Please just pardon us for that. I hope I have answered your question. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, could you please share how you were admitted to the Okong University of Science? Did you get that, sir? All right, uh, thank you very, very much. Uh, actually, uh, I got my admission uh, immediately after my I mean, uh, first degree. I, I got to know about HDPFS, that's Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong uh, PhD fellowship scheme when I was in my J3. So, and then, uh, you know, I got to know some people you know, here in Hong Kong. Then in my year four, I, you know, I'm in touch with some people here as well. Then after my first degree, you know, immediately after uh, uh, my first degree, the, the scholarship opens around uh, September, the first week of September, and then it closes by the, it do closes by the first week of December. So I could not apply in my, admitted after my first degree, that's that year, that's 2017. 
uh, because I didn't have any transcript. So I need to wait for the next year, you know, next opening to apply. So uh, during the next opening, I just, uh, I followed the, the procedures. Uh, in the procedure, you need to get uh, a supervisor that will be ready to supervise your PhD program. And after getting the supervisor, then you apply to the school. And after, uh, and also you also apply for the scholarship. So which I followed and then I, I got to uh, about three schools, but I applied to two schools and then I got offer from both schools and then I just have to choose one. Can we please jam our hands together? Wow. I pray that God will rejuvenate our lives in Jesus name. So this has been the trend and the truth is that we actually want this to continue in our midst. Whereby, you know, they'll be offering you admissions, as in, I mean admissions, to different universities. And they'll be begging you, please, can you please come over? We want questions? to give you this scholarship and that. And that is what God is bringing to our midst. And it shall be so in the name of Jesus. Amen. It shall be so for you in Jesus' name. Amen. When you are done, they'll be looking for you. Amen. I said, when, when you are done, I mean you are done with your first degree. They'll be using and say, brother, we just, we just need you. We need someone like you. So shall it be for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bro, Adegu Miracle, we say thank you. Thanks for coming online. God bless you, sir.